What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on this Friday night. Uh, it's about 10 p.m. August 19th to uh, 2022. About 10, 10 p.m. Uh, kind of getting a little late update in tonight, but better late than never. A 2.2 earthquake out there in the uh, Big Island and also 1.4 down in Southern California. Latest quakes there on the Earthquake 3D globe. I want to start off here with the uh, Tau volcano out there around the American Samoa. Uh, it's gone from unassigned to advisory status here. Now, these two volcanoes, uh, what is that, Ofu, Ofu, Oslega? <clears throat> Hopefully something like that. If not, you guys can read it right there. These are the two volcanoes that have just kind of been added on to the uh, list of USGS maps here far as the advisory goes. So definitely something brewing underneath this area as far as volcanic movement goes they've been having an earthquake swarm now for a couple weeks in this area uh, again this has been updated to a yellow and advisory uh, the latest information here uh, let's see what we got for the latest update here recent notifications i want to see all of those uh let's see volcano updates here okay here we go um, this one was put out, uh, looks like earlier today, HST, so Hawaiian time, uh, an earthquake swarm is occurring in the Mono Islands of, uh, Manua Islands of American Samoa. Uh, it does, doesn't look like anything's changed, uh, just because the aviation color code is yellow, uh, this designation does not reflect a change in the behavior of either volcano. It simply acknowledges that the number, size, and frequency of earthquakes being felt uh, are well above typical background activity. It uh, looks like the first reports were felt uh, around July 26, so ongoing here for almost a month now. Uh, I can only imagine the total tally of earthquakes that's going on here underneath this region. Uh, I do want to uh, kick up the seismograph stations there in the uh, Tau volcano region now earlier uh, this was not working although it looks like it's working now uh, I checked it a little bit earlier and we did not get any activity kicking up here so this is going to be looks like just the last couple hours or so there's still some earthquake activity kicking up here uh, in the region of the Tau volcano see these uh, pretty good spikes there on that uh, graph also some little ones showing up as well it's definitely a pretty good uh, earthquake swarm in this vicinity for sure and we're just kind of watching it uh, seeing how this plays out uh, we can go back the last uh, I don't know if it'll let me here still trying to figure this thing out a little bit and it doesn't doesn't want to show the previous uh, hours here I know the uh, other volcano here within this region has a seismograph station as well and both of these uh, did turn into a uh, kind of an advisory deal here stand by for a second very close together as uh, far as these uh, volcanoes go now this one here has the uh, data as well I'm going to kick this up. It looks like it's through the uh, Raspberry Shaker as well. Give it a second and we'll see what we got. Uh, yeah, this one shows a little bit more uh, back in time. Uh, I think there was something going on with the data uh, early afternoon time frame and early morning. I just I couldn't access it, so it looked like they had a little blackout. So here's the last uh, oh, 24 hours or so of earthquake activity still. Even this region picking up on the earthquake swarm, there's a, a lot. Uh, I'm sure well over 100 earthquakes or so on this map. Again, these smaller ones, even little ones like this, are indicative of an earthquake. Just not as strong uh, as a magnitude, but uh, things are ongoing, folks, there. And I'm sure it's uh, brewing into something bigger. Uh, how big? We'll just have to wait and see and find out. Uh, definitely best to be prepared though if you're out in that region for sure um, see what we got uh, for earthquake activity out here along the west coast not a whole lot in the 2.5 and above map got to go down to the uh, all magnitudes here 
uh, to kind of see a little a little earthquake activity ramping up out here along the west coast mostly uh, around the Sierra Nevada and also the western portion here of Nevada right around the Tonopah area all seeing quite a bit of microquake movement today uh, and some scattered activity all throughout the Intermountain West regions also up into the uh, Pacific Northwest at uh, a couple of the volcanoes all just showing some microquakes uh, on that matter we're going to check the trimmer map tonight and see what we got for uh, the trimmer oh that's a pretty big number there 376 for a one day tally that's almost twice what we've seen yesterday so uh, things definitely kicking up here in Northern California uh, we haven't seen too much in terms of earthquake activity in California it looks like maybe this one right here uh, 2.4 at 17 kilometers uh, just south of Eureka I'm pretty certain that's uh, a little bit of a build up here and a lot of strain I would say from all the trimmer activity we've seen throughout the last couple days in this region uh, so watch that area southern uh, southern portion of the Cascadia uh, not a whole lot going on throughout the rest of the country a couple spotty earthquakes folks and th that's about it Puerto Rico has almost dropped down to nothing I've never seen it like that before at all um, only shown a 2.4 and a 2.5 two earthquakes that's just a little on the odd side what it means could just mean that we're not really seeing too much pressure in the region uh, but it's something to watch pretty closely some activity down through the South America region also the uh, big island out here as noted Pahala region seeing the brunt of the earthquake activity no major changes there at the volcanoes trail of movement across the Philippines Taiwan southward uh, looking uh, pretty well spaced out there in the sequence of earthquakes mostly fours upper fours in that matter uh, the Fiji Islands area is pretty quiet not a whole lot going on there on the USGS map for now and some scattered activity of course around the Himalayas south of there around Nepal that was earlier this afternoon time frame and one earthquake out around the Greece area uh, Yellowstone National Park super volcano not showing a, a whole lot of movement out there uh, let's see what we got uh, got this signature popping up right here sometimes it's sometimes these little swarms they do that but I can't say with certainty that this was actually an earthquake swarm kind of looks like a localized uh, cluster of interference whether it's a thunderstorm or high winds in that area earlier uh, not for certain though but it was just a little short period of uh, some signals here and uh, we'll definitely watch that and see uh, how that plays out of course that looks like earlier this afternoon time frame uh, kind of where we see those thunderstorms pop up but uh, we'll watch it uh, on this map here kind of shows a little bit of a uh, different signature could possibly be some earthquake activity but uh, again uh, just it looks a little odd I'll, I'll review this tomorrow and see how it looks uh, space weather activity Let's see what we got here cooking on the Sun notice a little bit of decline here in the solar flare activity department things kind of mellow in that uh, aspect of things but uh, we are forecasting here over the next couple nights it looks like uh, at least G1 class storming conditions up and down so to speak like kind of like what we've been seeing here uh, over the last 24 48 hours or so G5 or uh, not G5 uh, KP index of 5 uh, maybe a 4 on the set, uh, 22nd so still somewhat elevated in terms of possibly seeing auroras at the higher latitudes but uh, aside from that no major big threats coming up folks uh, let's see I do want to give out a quick shout out to the members here on the channel uh, these are the members that have joined the channel here uh, Pamela Judy uh, Laney John Robbie 82 Patrick and Chris Hurricane Heather Betty Kelly Purple Bullet Nancy Kozowski uh, Maria, John, the Bash Mode, Joel, Alicia, Mike, Melanie, Catherine, Pamela, Ray, Hope and Feathers, Robert Kozowski, Robert Vogel, the Fly Lady, Jay Fuentes, Albert Sanchez Jr., and Dolores. We appreciate you here on this channel. Those are our members here, and uh, this is kind of growing. Uh, we are doing a uh, giveaway. Of course, that'll be next month. We already gave one away. Yeah, $40 Amazon gift card there to the uh, to uh, Nancy Kozowski. Lucky winner this month. All right, guys. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. And uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later on.
again uh, you know just kind of be prepared out there around the American Samoa any type of earthquake swarm like that could uh, well, obviously it's volcanic we just don't know exactly how uh, big of a uh, an action that's going to be there at those volcanoes there around the Tau uh, area but we will continue to monitor it. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there, and we'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace out.